Let's do this. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. So I'm actually very excited for this. Uh, Dell and Project Belgium are playing 1v1s at the moment. And this is live for those of us here on Twitch. And Dell has gone for Turks. And Project Belgium has gone for Celts on Black Forest. Um, I've seen a lot of Aztecs picked on this. Uh, Celts is a very solid Black Forest civilization. Uh, Dell picked Turks. Fascinating. Uh, Turks is a very good arena sieve, and I can only think that maybe Doubt wants to turn this into a bit of an arena game with the forward castle drop or something crazy. Uh, Doubt's running forward at the very start. This is played on Explored, so you know you can run right in there. Uh, Fatsob knows that. That's why Fatsob walls, and Fa Project Belgium doesn't care about walling. Doubt's going to do it. Is he going to sneak a villager? No, he just wants to get a forward wall up. See, this is good, because if you're going to drop a castle... You want the position. Uh, anyways. Uh, whoa! Doubt is going for extremely aggressive walls. Nice dodge. He dodged the TC fire. Wow. Doubt's going crazy here. Project Belgium has to deal with this. I think he should send two, two or three of his own villagers out here to deal with this. Because if these walls get up, it's going to make life awkward for him. And at this point, Project Belgium will lose his scout... Wait, is he on a hill? No, I think Project Belgium's going to lose his scout there. Really close. He loses his scout. Okay, so now the villagers come out. The scout is just distracting. Nice work, Doubt. Um, he probably wants to quick wall. This is messy. <laughs> this is pro Black Forest right here. You don't see pro Black Forest games very often. Okay, he's forced to run back with that villager, but you know what? Belgium doesn't know that there's this other woman over here. He doesn't know about this one. So Belgium's thinking, oh, this is going to be fine. I'm going to chase Doubt down, and I'm going to forward wall. But this hole is going to be plugged. Well, now Doubt's sending three of his own villagers because he doesn't want Belgium to wall here. Belgium places a gate. Belgium places a house. Beautiful quick walls. That was well done. That was well done. Uh, and I think with that, Doubt will not get through. And Doubt will have to go back to work, but she's still here. What if she... Whoa, what if she walls like this? I would just wall behind it, right? There's no use in fighting. <laughs> this is going to be great. This is going to be great, but will he get it up in time? See, this is why I was excited, because it's so different. Surprise! Nope. Now Project Belgium has this village. Oh, no, he can walk around. Okay. He can walk around. Uh, we'll run into a bear with that villager. Has to continue to wall with this villager. What's the vill difference? It's 14 villagers for Belgium and 13 for Doubt. Kind of makes sense, right? Because Doubt probably had TC idle time because he sent his villagers forward so early on in the game. Um, oh, Doubt's just going to fight this now. And both of them are housed at the moment. This is, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Uh-oh, no. Doubt! What are you doing, man? Well, hold on. No, he's still stronger than her. Fight on the hill. This is just like the scout war earlier. Doink, 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 doink. Think Doubt's winning? He got a hill shot. He got another hill shot. Oh, he gave up the hill. Now he's losing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez, man. He was in such a nice position. I would have kept the villager there. Oh wait, no, he got a hill hit. Now run back. <laughs> run back. Oh, and Project Belgium's keeping the gate open. What a play. That was really smart. But he also needs to wall behind here. Okay, now Doubt's walling in the villager. What a start to this, man. This high-level Black Forest game has given us so many weird things at the start. Um, you know, it's, it's worth pointing out that Project Belgium still has gold here. Um, he still... Wait, where'd the Vil go? Whoa, she's back over here now! Are you kidding me? She took a hit, though. There's no way Doubt can quick wall this one. Oh! Are you kidding me? 
The micro nerd. Oh, wait. And now Project Belgium's just going to wall her in? Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, well, this is her life now. Uh, what a fascinating game. Yeah, Project Belgium can still take gold. He can kind of take this stone. I mean, he can walk the whole way around as well, so it's really not too bad. It sucks he can't take his deer, because that will probably be like, pushing his deer or taking his deer at some point. Um, I, I would say that Project Belgium's probably in the lead, because Doubt is... Doubt's villager is trapped. Um, she'll eventually make it out, but it'll take forever. But I, I have no clue what just happened. That was wild start. So this this is actually what high level nomad can be like because players are so aggressive and fighting for that all important position. But I think I really feel like Doubt sending that villager outside of here was probably a mistake because maybe he could have done something with her. Um, all depends on what his plan was really. Now to compare the the Civ matchup again, I think Turks ideally is a Doubt has an idle TC. Doubt, Doubt. Doubt. Is he going is he trying to go feudal? Is he waiting for food to go feudal? I hope so. Okay. Yeah, he is. Um Yeah, Turks here I think can be quite good in certain stages of the game. Like if you get a castle up in early castle age in this matchup, Celts can struggle against that. Yes, Celts have the faster firing siege, but Janissaries have eight range and the Maganels will have seven, so uh, it's not so hot. Uh, Project Belgium is actually turning in this into a bit of a man-at-arms rush. And he might even go forward, too, because he's sending three villagers to join the two that are here. <laughs> Project Belgium really wants to kill her, and Doubt noticed. Whoa, what is this? This is funny. Okay, so Project Belgium is just, he's just walled more, so she's stuck in there. Even further. But if Doubt's going feudal, that means he wants to go towers. And this could be a disaster. Because what does Doubt not see? He doesn't see the barracks. And if he doesn't see the barracks, he's not expecting Project Belgium to be going aggressive. If he's not expecting Project Belgium to go aggressive, he's going to place a tower here. And Belgium will delete all of his walls and push that back. Danger, danger, danger. It's been a while Someone had paused the, has paused the game now. Too. Okay, I, I don't know if this is going to happen, but now you can double-click Palisades and shift-delete them all at the same time. I wonder if Project Belgium, when he sees Doubt's Tower, I, I wonder if he's going to, to panic, shift-delete all the Palisades, and it's going to free this villager. That would be hilarious. Okay, so it will be four Man-at-Arms. This is so dangerous for Doubt. Project Belgium will be in Feudal Age faster. I just don't know... Like, what is Doubt's response going to be here when he sees the Feudal Age come in? This is Doubt's point of view. He sees the Militia now. Oh, he quick-walled there. But still, I mean, Project Belgium can just delete his own walls. I think Doubt needs to wall. Yeah, wall and then, I guess, just tower. Okay, there was no shift delete from Project Belgium, which is a little bit disappointing because I wanted to see that happen, but it <clears throat> makes sense that he would just do it that way. And five villagers building the tower for Belgium? Uh, three at the moment, now four building for Doubt. Doubt needs to be careful with these vills. Yeah, I think this is the correct play because what really gives Turks an advantage in this matchup is if they get to Castle Age, or if they like get some type of a push going. Celts are the better Boom Sieve. So I think this is the best defense for Project Belgium against Turks is basically offense, which he's done. Um, I don't agree doing this, though. He, it, it's smart from Doubt to have built those stone walls there. Uh, unless that stone wall goes down, no, it's... The Man-at-Arms have died. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, still, this tower has been attacking... Uh, Doubt's Tower, so he has a bit of a head start there, but... Actually, you know what it is? Belgium is t attacking the Stonewall. 
He wants to get get into the minimum range there. That might help. Can he get two in on the tower? Oh, Dow. No, that was a mistake. Dow didn't realize that. Oh, this is dangerous now. I think Dow needs to build a stone gate. And, yeah, stone gate and then another tower. Yeah, he needs to keep those units out. And he needs to get Castle Age eventually. The economies behind this are going to be so important. Whoa! She's free! She's free! What? No way! And now Belgium is building an outpost to see what she's up to. I wasn't expecting that. How did she free herself? I guess Belgium just forgot and... She pushed the palisade. Oh, it'd be hilarious if Doubt sneaks with her. Oh, interesting. Belgium's taking this stone. The extra stone and gold's down here. I didn't notice that. And Belgium's through again? Oh, Doubt. Doubt, 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 Doubt. Don't tell me you're going to lose Vils to this. Oh, wow. Okay. Ends up being okay. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> but ends up being okay. <clears throat> Okay, by a show of ones in the chat, how many people have really enjoyed this? This has been really fascinating. Uh, this is definitely going to YouTube, for sure. Like, this, there's been so many different things. I would type a one in the chat if I could right now, but I kind of have casting to do. Okay, Doubt's just placing a tower there. I mean, that will be annoying later on, especially if he fully walls it in. And now it's all about the castle times. Um, I think this is where I would adopt the fat slob strategy, and I would stonewall like crazy. I wouldn't stop at just one layer of stonewalls from Project Belgium, because you have to expect the follow-up to Doubt's Tower Rush is going to be a castle drop later, because he's on stone. So I'd get rid of the palisade walls, I'd make like three or four layers of stonewalls, and then just try and boom behind it. But a lot of players at this level would not be okay with doing that. Whoa, a dock! A dock? That's... That's funny that he was considering a dock there. That villager has paid for herself already. Why would you dock there? I guess he wants... You want a fire ship? <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, I mean, looking at Doubt's eco now... He's actually making a barracks, which tells me he wants to do something else. Other than Janissaries, but um... It, the resources look good, but Dow only has nine on food, so that is a bit worrying. He doesn't have any farms. Oh, there's extra boars down here, though. Oh, I didn't see that. That is very nice. Okay, it all makes sense then. But yeah, if you build the barracks, then you, you probably are building that not for any spears right now or militia, but for the ability to make a stable or an archer range. So maybe Dow's thinking archers instead. The level of play here is mind-numbing. Mind-numbing? Really? Is it? I can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. I mean, I love Belgium's economy more. Celts, they chop wood faster. Oh, oh no! He double-clicked all of his villagers! That's gonna, that's gonna numb your mind? Oh, no! Oh, god. Well, good thing we can't see how many viewers are watching right now. Because my viewer count isn't working. Oh, that hurts so much. The second I said I liked his economy more, too. That poor guy. That's the worst. But, um... Shoot, what was I saying? I was saying something. Damn it, now my mind is numb. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, I remembered. The economy, okay? So, here's the deal. See all these farms? Like, they were very efficient. Now he, he doesn't have half of his villagers working on the farm. But I, long term, that economy's better. But Dell is on his way to Castle Age. He has enough on stone where he'll have enough for a castle in the next stage. Um, Project Belgium is breaking out with villagers, really frightened of what might be back here. And, oh, Dell is going to make something other than immediate Janissary, which is a surprise to me. But a few knights might be a nice idea. Hmm. I, I know I know that you guys think this might be a bit sloppy, but it's not. It's not. It's just that it's not structured like pro games normally are. 
And it's just because of how it opened up. Like everything in this game has been really good. The walls, the man at arms, the man at arms was good from Belgium. The tower is good from Belgium. The eco up until he double clicked his villagers was good. He's in his way to Castle Age. Um, you know, he's got to sort out a few kinks here, but uh, biggest biggest issue for him is he does not see that there's a stable there. <clears throat> Guys, if Dal watches my VOD and watches my YouTube video and sees that you're calling him a low elo legend, he's not going to play in my events anymore, okay? You gotta be careful. He is a very... You gotta suck up to Dal a little bit, okay? He is a very fragile ego. We can't we can't have him see you saying that. Ooh! Oh, Dal wants to go light tab! He wants to go light tab, so fun fact of the day, if you didn't already know this... Uh, Turks get these scout upgrades for free. So upon arriving to Castle Age, these are Light Cav. And then there's a one villager castle from Doubt. Oh my goodness, he got forging the Light Cav are coming in. Oh! Oh no, no, oh no, oh yes, oh no, oh no. It, the quick walls. <laughs> oh no, Belgium. His barracks is forward. He can't get spears over here quickly. Oh, that's going to be so tilting. The quick walls are needed. He nerds out a little bit to get the quick walls up. That's good. He's building a monastery now because he's expecting the the knight. And there is the knight. Um, so, it's going to be tough, though. It's going to be really, really tough. His eco is, is falling apart now. Siege workshop for him. I love the stable move from Dow. And I don't think that Belgium ever expected it. Oh, well, we have a one villager castle. What on earth is this? What on earth is this? A tower! A desperate tower! Well, that's not gonna work, Belgium. Surely that's not gonna work. He knows the castle's going up and he wants to stop it? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! The game is over! Well, that was sick play from doubt. It really was. Uh, nice quick walls. This one villager. She changed the game. Imagine what this game would have been. If that villager didn't free herself up, easy to say for us, but Belgium just forgot about her. She was on 1 HP, and that villager built the stable, that villager built, well, was building the castle, and I think the light calf and the knight move was brilliant. Um, was not something that Belgium expected, and Belgium taps out. Uh, way to go, Doubt, man. That was fun. Uh, now, we are, let's see, it is currently January 25th. Um, and the game came out in November 14th. We're a couple months after DE came out, and unfortunately, recent patch broke all these statistics. But I'm going to make some up here, okay? Doubt had more kills than deaths, and I guess the... I, I don't know if I should trust the economy, but I think the economy is accurate. And he had more stone and gold, all right? So just... This is good because you can use your imagination to pretend what this was. Uh, makes life a whole lot more interesting. Not the most impressive timeline, but that game is definitely going to YouTube. So, hello YouTube, and if you'd like to stop by the Twitch stream in the future, the Twitch link is below in the video description. I actually have no clue how many people we have here, because my little viewer count at the bottom left says zero. But, uh, we could use one more. <laughs>